Yes, what's good everybody? So, quick ship vid. Uh, we've got a bit of a jazz band, whatever, on next door. So, it sounds like I'm either in an elevator or we're at some sort of weird, like, interlude of the video. So, every time I stop, we get a text. And then it goes... But, for the quick ship vid, soon as there's been uh, really complimentary of Bielsa sort of a day on Sky, was saying, like, he'd have him at coach at season, which... I would, I think the job he's done is absolutely remarkable, obviously I'm extremely biased, but we've basically played the entire of the Premiership League, Premier League season with a Championship side in Rafinha, because Rodrigo's been in and out, Lorente's obviously played past 10 games or so, Cox's been out all season more or less. Uh, Liam Cooper's made it to Euros, so has Cock, which is good, so I'll be able to watch them, because it does add... A few people agreed with me yesterday in comments saying that it does add another dimension to it. Because when it's a neutral game and you've got someone to watch, like if Rodrigo's there, Lorente, Liam Cooper, Cock and stuff, it'll be like Phillips. It'll be, you know, it gives you... It give, I mean, England's different because you're just watching them anyway, but whether Phillips is in it or not. But it does like, add that extra dimension. We we got the record a record amount of away wins for a promoted side, which is pretty mint, isn't it? I think it's 10 we've got. Which we have been mint, you know, we've had some airy days, haven't we? Some scapey days, some scopey days, but we've we've had some mint days, haven't we, as well, at Man City, etc. Um, got it seasons over, they're coming to a close, but um the talks of Mes Meslier, right, uh, Silent S. So it got dropped. There's it's been overplayed this, but Bielsa sort of said, Oh, it it hampered our attacking football, basically. Him going long. And so Paddy Kenny, it's only Paddy Kenny, but he sort of suggested that's why he thinks he's been dropped, but I'm not sure about that, to be fair. I don't know whether it's just a, a case that we're getting towards the end of the season and he wants to give people minutes. Somebody mentioned yesterday or the day before that he might have played Kiko to put him in window a bit so that people sort of see him, but I'm not I'm not sure about that either because I don't think it'll put any worth on him or anything. I don't, I don't know. I can't see him leaving. I can't see him be able to get him out of the door, really. Uh, Phillips ain't got an injury. But well, Bielsa said he ain't got an injury, but um, he has been seen like limping round the ground and stuff like to to players' bus and stuff. He apparently got sore limping. Um, De Paul's acknowledged that in, he's aware of the Leeds United rumour because obviously it's gone on for so long now. I mean, it's a total dead duck, and like Phil Hay said that it's it's a dead duck, but he said that he'd find it really hard to leave you, didn't he? hard to leave Udinese, he says it's like a family there and stuff, but whether or not that is all I don't, I, he ain't coming is he guys I think we, it's all been said now so it's it's done, I'm going to stop talking about it there's been a bit of banter on Twitter as well which is pretty funny about Bamford because obviously Kane's expressed that he wants to leave so there's been a bit of banter online about how Bamford's going to replace Kane at Tottenham which is pretty funny I mean obviously that isn't going to happen and we're not selling Bamford and Kane's one of the best strikers in the world, and so it'd be some replacement. But um, some a few Leeds, a few Leeds fans have commented on Twitter and stuff, just saying like, if you give us Son and twenty million, that should sort of cover cost. So, which I'm all for. That's good. And then the final bit of transfer talk is a 22-year-old Croatian international. Uh, he's a midfielder. He plays for Wolfsburg. 28 matches, seven goals. Apparently, Mourinho wants him as well when he signs for, when he when he goes to Roma next year. He wants him, and he's called Josip Brekalo. He's meant to be quite good, to be fair. Like young Croatian, obviously Croatia have been excellent, haven't they, as a country for the past four four years. So he's been in and around Croatian team. So yeah. Any more news on that, I'll keep you updated. It's only a bit of waffle transfer talk at the moment. That's just saying that we're like loosely linked. But you know, everybody knows how many people we get linked with. It's mad. But it's better to be linked with people than uh, be like Sheffield United. So yeah, shout out to all my subscribers and commenters and that. Uh, I'll put all my links in the description. If you follow me on Instagram, message me. And I'll message you back. And I'll follow you back. If you want to come to Alpha Fest, 23rd, 24th, 25th of Jan July. All the links are below. Nice one. Take it easy, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow.
promises You do you want all to me, that's just the way it is Don't wanna ever feel surprised, that's why I ask